hello friends uh, welcome back to my youtube channel today's video we are going to talk about how to deploy asp.net core application to azure web app service with visual studio code and uh, typically it involves multiple steps which i'll go through uh, the one of these steps which uh, uh, we need to uh, focus is uh, the first one is to create uh, let's say an azure uh, web app service so this is very much required because in order to host any application on the uh, azure let's say web application you could host a uh, uh, java based or let's say dot net based or python based you still need an azure web app service uh, this is a free service also depending upon whatever the tier you, you choose uh, and if you have if you don't know how to deploy it I'll actually uh, have created a video way back and posted it on my YouTube channel. Uh, so I'll uh, give the link for that in order to make sure that you can watch that video to make uh, an Azure web app service deployment on the Azure portal. Uh, the second is uh, we need to create, a, let's say ASP.NET uh, core web app. Uh, so if you are not aware how to create it on mac os or something like that i've also created another video on the same thing uh, you can watch this video how to run that web app locally and then the third thing is uh, i'll actually post up the link also for that so the first step the second step those two videos are already on my uh, uh, channel and I'll post the links in the description of this video. The third one is the actual publishing of the uh, web app uh, to the Azure environment. So that's what we'll use with the help of VS Code. So three fundamental steps. One, creating a Azure web app service. I'll post the link for the video if you have if you don't know how to do that. Second one is creating an ASP.NET Core web app uh, MVC. I'll also post the link in case you are not aware about how to use command line tools to create it on a Mac OS. And then the third is publishing of the web uh, app to the Azure uh, through the VS Code. This is what the fundamental we are going to learn within this video. So guys, if you see, uh, this is a RKV web app that I've created, uh, which will be using it as an app service on Azure portal. And in order to see that if this is really running it, I can just click on that and it actually shows me an RKV web app dot Azure websites dot net. So it means my website is perfectly running fine. Everything looks okay. And the second thing which I wanted to show you is the actual app, uh, the web app. So this is an ASP.NET Core MVC application running it. So if you see, I can show you on the uh, my, uh, let's say local uh, uh, Mac, I'm actually running this website. If we want to make some changes, we can make it. And we'll, let's say uh, this is uh, to be hosted on, let's say Azure web app service. So I'll just save this and it is hot, uh, hot reloading is enabled. So it automatically makes those changes around there. So that looks fine. Now, before we can actually push this application uh, to the Azure web app service. So what we need to do is uh, we need to actually uh, firstly create a, uh, what you call as publishable content or the publishable artifacts so that those could be actually published to the Azure Web App Service. Now, in order to create that, I can use a command called as .NET and I could use publish. Publish means I'm going to create a published version of this website and then minus C and then I'll say it is going to be a release. It's not going to be a build or anything. I'm just using a release and minus O, I'm just going to give a path to the same. So let's say I'll give a paths dot bin uh slash bin and then i'll say let's say publish i'll just create this folder like this publish now this is going to actually compile and build it and actually create a release version uh, which is like actually going to be hosted on the uh, azure web app so once i press enter it is going to actually do that whole stuff for me and if you see it has created a r uh, rkv web app dot dll and it's available in the publish uh, folder like within that so let's go on to the uh, let's say the bin folder and if you see uh, there is a publish 
and then this is where it has all uh, everything is available as an artifact that could be actually deployed onto our Azure app service. Now, technically, we could just uh, click right mouse button over here and then we can just say deploy to the web app. Now, this could be deployed to a web app or to a function app, depending upon how, how you actually want to store it. But I, I fundamentally want to use a deploy to the web app. Now, there is one more thing. Uh, if you see, I've already have an Azure extension. Now, an Azure extension helps you to connect to your Azure account, uh, get some subscriptions, what they are available. And if you click on this, so you could see I have uh, uh, two subscriptions out here, RD Azure subscription, RKB subscription. I'll click on this. So there is an app service and within the app service, I have this RKB web app. Now this is the app which I showed you uh, just a few seconds back on the Azure portal when we clicked on this. So it's automatically accessing that. So let's get back to the VS code again. And now we'll go back to the uh, our uh, project and within the publish one. So we are in the publish. I'll click right mouse button and I'll say deploy to web app. So the moment I'll, I'll click on, so it starts asking me uh, because I have multiple subscriptions, then it just needs to uh, take the input from the user or the developer. Hey, where you want to deploy it, which particular web app with subscription. So we need to uh, go through that process. So I'll select the RD as your subscription. It starts loading and it automatically finds it. That is RKV web app and it is within a resource group. Um, Azure works like within a container called as resource groups. So I'll click over here and then it just asked me, are you sure you want to deploy to RKV web app? This will override any previous deployments and cannot be undone. Now, fundamentally, uh, the best practices are to use CICD pipelines. Uh, probably I'll post another video for that where you could use some GitHub actions or Azure pipelines or CICD pipelines to deploy it automatically so that you have artifacts and then you could revert back to the previous uh, uh, deployment also. But this is only for the demo purposes and directly we want to see how I can use the VS code to deploy it to the uh, Azure web app. So when I say deploy, so it, start, it would start actually deploying it, creates the necessary package, uh, package it around the whole publish folder, and then it looks all fine. So now it says deployment to the RKV web app is completed. And if I want to use browse website, I can do it over here. So let's say if I click on that browse website. So if you see, it has actually deployed RKV web app as your websites. Yep those changes, whatever we were working on there. So even if you see, we want to go it from there, let's say from here. So I can just click on to this, which is my technically the link for my web app service. I can click on that and it actually goes over there. Now we could also use, let's say just in order to make sure we deploy some another one. Uh, and uh, I, I just want to create, look, go back to the folders and I just want to remove this. So let's say this is removed and we'll, this is a demo created by Roidan hosted on Azure. So that's what I want to do. Okay. Now what I uh, want to do, uh, the next step is again. So I'll just go on to the terminal and then just create another, let's say again, publish it looks fine. And then finally, I just go back to the uh, bin, which is there publish and I say deploy to web app. Now it starts deploying it. Okay, so you want to deploy this? Yes, I want to deploy it. Starts deploying it, creates a package, zip it. And then, yep, uh, yep, it's, it's all looks good. So if you now browse the website again, so now you would see the things which we removed like a test one or that uh, pipe symbol, so it's all gone. So uh, I hope friends, uh, this is a video which helps you to make sure how you could deploy your ASP.NET Core applications or even web APIs or MVC, M MVC applications onto the Azure web app services. I'll be coming back with more videos. So stay tuned and have a good one. Thank you.